Hi everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to test your PSU. So if you want to stay how to, if you want to find out how to do that, then don't close this tab. Origin is the place for you to get a custom PC without building it yourself. Click the link in this video's description to go ahead and check them out. Okay, so the first way is probably the most, 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 most popular and common way. And that is the paperclip method. The paperclip method is very, very simple. All you gotta do is take a paperclip like this, bend it, and plug it into the green and black wires. Then, on your power supply, if you have a switch, go ahead and switch that on. And if you don't, just go ahead and plug it into the wall and it should power on. If it doesn't power on, you know that your uh, power supply is totally broken. Okay, the second method is a pretty common way to do it, but it's not the recommended way to do it. I wouldn't recommend this at all, and I hope you don't do it, but this method requires a motherboard, a working CPU, and basically a working computer to test your power supply on. Simply plug your power supply into your motherboard and turn it on. If your motherboard explodes, then of course your PSU is sending too much voltage or power somewhere, in which case it's defective. And if your motherboard doesn't turn on, or turns on and turns off, that means that your power supply is not sending enough power, in which case it's also defective. That's the most simplest way to test it but it's also the worst way to test it, so I don't recommend that. Okay, so this is the most correct way to do it, but it's not the most simplest way to do it, and it's probably not the easiest way to do it, but it is the safest way to do it. What you'll need for this step is a multimeter, and your power supply, and your PSU model number and charts for it. Oh, and you'll also need a paperclip. So first, turn on your PSU and use the paperclip method as we mentioned above. Next, find the pinout chart for your power supply, and this will let you know which pins will be providing which voltages. Make sure your multimeter is set to, set to the VBDC setting, and if your multimeter has auto range, I mean, if your multimeter does not have auto range, go ahead and set that to 10 volts. Now connect the negative stick to the black pin on your PSU connector, and connect the positive stick to the first pin that you will want to test. And, of course, make notes of the voltages that are displayed. Make sure all the voltages match what your PSU's chart says. Oh, and if you want to find a chart, just go to Google, type in your model number, and then type in chart, or something like that, and you should be able to easily find it. Okay, so now you guys know how to test your PSU, and if you enjoyed this video, then drop a dislike or a like, doesn't matter. I'll see you guys later. Bye.